Hi, I'm Matt Needham and this is my electrical um, cooling circuit demonstration. We're going to use this training board along with this schematic diagram. Let's uh, identify some of the components on the board. Here's our contactor and this is its coil and this is the contactor coil on our schematic. Here are its contacts. Um, right here is a contact we're going to use. This is our indoor fan relay right here. This is the indoor fan relay coil portion of it. And then this right here is our indoor fan relay contacts. And then this is our indoor fan motor, evaporator fan motor um, right here, and our condenser fan motor um, right here. This is our transformer that we're going to use, and this is um, power coming in, the primary, 120 and 24 volts coming out. And this is the thermostat portion of uh, the circuit. Here's the thermostat, and we'll be using these terminals here. So um, let's uh, go ahead and begin by starting to wire up um, this circuit following um, step by step uh, with the schematic. So first we see that we come off of, now the switch is already wired in here, pre-wired in. Uh, we have hot and that's at this point right here and everything's going to come off of hot and go back to neutral over there. So here we have hot going right over to the normally open set of contacts on our contactor and that would be this wire here. And then we come out of the contact here and we go to um, a light which is going to simulate our compressor. And we also, if we see, we come out, we also go to our condenser fan motor off of this contactor contact, um, which is down here. And then off of the light, we go back to neutral and back to neutral with the condenser fan motor. Let's do that now. The condenser fan motor here goes back to neutral and the white also we're using white for neutral goes back to neutral that completes this portion of the circuit now we also see that we have a, a power coming off of the hot here and going to an indoor fan relay contact let's come off the hot and go to our indoor fan relay um, contact right here and it's normally open here and we're coming off it it wouldn't matter if we went in this way or that way because it is alternating current and we come off of this and now we're going to go to the indoor fan motor or evaporator fan motor here and now we're going to go back to neutral back to neutral um, and now we have to, one more thing is we have this wire coming down here to power up the transformer, the primary of the transformer. So we need one more hot and we need to come into the primary of the transformer here. And we wire up the primary side here and then back to neutral off of the other side of the primary of the transformer. And now we're working on the low voltage side. We come off of the secondary of the transformer and we're using red because we have, that's the color that uh, is typical for power for the thermostats. Um, here we're coming off the secondary of the transformer. And this is, you have terminals like this on the back of your thermostat normally on the sub base but here for convenience we have a terminal block and it's pre-wired for us but we're still doing the same wiring activity that you might have to do in the field and then when the thermostat closes on cooling actually and the fan switch is in auto uh, we net we want to run the fan indoor fan or evaporator fan with the compressor and the condenser fan motor so when it gets warm enough and this closes we power up Y which is typically run with a yellow wire off of the Y on the thermostat to the contactor coil. And then we come back off of the other side of the contactor coil 
and we go back to the secondary on the transformer. Likewise, we come off the G or the green here, and we'll use a green wire for that to make it easier for you. And we power up the indoor fan relay coil. And we come in here with the green, and then um, let's go back on the other side to the secondary of the transformer. And that should just about do it. The, uh, the other thing that we have to do now is to plug it in and test it and run a couple of tests. And let's go ahead and do that now. So I've plugged it in. I've turned the power on. I've already made sure that we have the thermostat set on the sub base to cool and auto. Um, and let's say I want it cooler in here, then I would lower the set point on the thermostat and lo and behold, the compressor comes on, the evaporator fan comes on, and the condenser fan motor comes on. And then we can take a couple of readings with our meter. Here we have to set it at volts for alternating current. And again, we're going to have 121 volts to each electrical load, whether it's a fan or a light. We see that 120. Now, the transformer is stepping down the voltage from 120 to 24 volts. So coming out of the transformer, we'll have around 24 volts, 26 volts, and you see the contacts are pulled in here, and we can check the voltage carefully and read the 24 volts here also, 26 volts. So that is being pulled in, and the same thing is happening here with the coil on the indoor fan relay. And relays and contactors can be 24 volt coil, 120 volt coil, 230 volt coil, what have you. Um, and you have to use the right contactor or relay with the right voltage. These are designed to run at 24 volts and we've wired them up that way. Again, not much amperage is going through. Um, let's try and go ahead and, and take a reading. I, we're, I'd be shocked even if we're getting a tenth of an amp. It probably won't even register much on our ammeter. 0.1 amps. And certainly the contacts can handle that on the, um, trans, uh, on the thermostat. And here, when we energized it, or we said we want it cooler in here, and we set the set point lower, saying let's make it 60 in here or whatever, we closed this contact, and we energized the contactor coil, and this closed here. And also, when this energized, the indoor fan relay, this closed, and our electrical loads came on. Again, the first thing we did, once we turned the power on, was to close our thermostat by saying, hey, we want it colder in here, we lower the temperature. When the temperature gets warm enough, I mean, when it gets cold enough, or we say it's cold enough and we adjust the thermostat up, then it will shut off. Let's see if we can go ahead and do that now. Here we've raised the temperature on the thermostat and we've shut off um, uh, the equipment. And that concludes this portion of the presentation.